Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So we've got an unboxing video today. As usual, I've got no idea what's in here, but it's something that's gonna need repair, no doubt. So let's just gently slice this open and see what we've got. Seems like a fairly robust box. So I'm hoping that whatever is in here has arrived safely. Ah, nice. Okay, I know what this is already because they've actually gone to the trouble of properly boxing a box within a box. So I'm going to carefully tip this out a minute. There we go. And lose that one. Righty ho. So here we have, whoops, the JVC 3060 Mark II. And this is the UK version in its original box. So that's really superb. Oh, what an awesome bit of kit. I'm looking forward to this one. So I've been watching one of these for a while and I know the TVs aren't really much used to anyone anymore, but I really like the old school look of this one. So there it is. It's got its original packaging just there. There's probably no reason to suspect that's not the original lead, that figure of eight cable just there. So, right, what else do we have? Various bits of paperwork here. Right, so this is the exciting part as well. So we've got the instruction book here. And I'll just give you a quick glance through that. So the instruction book there is a separate, a separate entity. This particular one doesn't have the schematic in there, as far as I know. So that's nice to have. So we'll come back to it, that paperwork shortly. Right, also in here is the guarantee certificate. So that's all right, I'm sure it's out of guarantee now. Um, I'm just trying to see, unfortunately, the one thing that's not on there is the date. So that's a bit of a shame. We've got the serial number on there and a previous owner from whoever bought it originally. So just carry on into the box. And we've got ourselves a JBC reception points compatible. So this tells you, ah, this is interesting. So I was saying about the different models being a UK one, this one tells you which signals or which channels you can pick up in which place. Look at that, that's cool. I've not seen that before, actually. Very pretty, very informative, and probably not that useful now, given that most of these things have been switched off already. However, what we do have is the genuine original schematic diagram for it as well. So here we go, we're gonna do this super carefully. Wow, that is quite something. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some schematics in my time, but good Lord above. Wow, that's fantastic. Wow, I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, nice to have, but to be honest, I might just make that into a poster or something. That's huge. Right, I'm just gonna put that away. Oh, there we go. Look, it folds up as simple as that. Fantastic. Anyways, enough of this rambling. Let's get on and see the actual unit, shall we? So, let's have a look. Try and pull this gently out. how to fix and use the hood. Ah, so this is the box that the TV hood would originally have been. Would have, it's got a little, oh wow, it's even got the little plastic, little plastic screen that would have originally protected, protected the TV. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> this is why I love all these old, like new in box sort of stuff, or old stock anyway. So this one has been used, I'll just bring it back now. Oh look, right, hang on. Sorry, as I say, I'm a little bit all over the place with this one because I didn't actually know, I haven't opened this before, of course. So in here then, we've got another, ah, oh, there's a power lead, a barrel lead, Victor Company of Japan. So that one there looks like it might even be a 
cigarette lighter or something like that. So I think that's a 12 volt, 12 volt power to, ah, to the car. So I think that's nice, tucked away in there. And then let me just let me be super careful with the polystyrene. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at this. It even comes with a demo tape. Oh, that's sweet, man. So that comes with the, the 3060. So this is definitely the, the legit one for this particular model. And that's the, that's the tape there that demonstrates how good their tape was or how good their machine was. And then on the other side was for you to record your own. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow, okay. Right, so let's take a look at this unit. Crikey, it's a beast. It's very heavy. 3060 UK. Wow, look at this. This is flipping excellent. Right, okay. And look at this. Just look at this. I just think it's a majestic. I really do. That beautiful kind of crossover between the really old dials, the old radios, and the modern tech. I mean, you know, you've got you've got yourself a, a micro sort of or a small television mounted in something with these wonderful radial dials. Level meter there, battery tuning indicator. It's all just marvellous. Wow. So you've got your selector switch here for your, your radio, VHF and UHF for your telly. Volume controls, you've got two, two tone controls, basically a bass and a treble. Mix balance, radio frequency change, AFC. Um, wow. And I haven't tried them yet, of course, but the mechanisms seem to be fairly springy. So hopefully, yep. Oh, wow. And do you know what? It needs a clean. And I was a bit worried. I saw the photos and I thought this is such a lovely original unit. Um, but it did look like it was probably quite marked up, a lot of like scratches and things on the top. And as I'm just dusting it now, they're not scratches in the paintwork at all. They're just little spots of dust or something. So that's fantastic. So this one is really going to polish up beautifully. That is, that is insane. Right, so here we have the, the original box. We've got the demonstration tape. We've got the schematic diagram. And uh, the original box for the TV hood, the original looks like unopened power adapter, certificate, instruction book. I mean, wow, what a gorgeous thing. So when all said and done, I still don't actually know if this works or not. So we'll have to plug it in very soon and try it out. So please do subscribe, hit the notifications bell. And we'll be going through this in a bit more detail, have a proper closer look at it, try it out, see what we can get to work and give it a good clean. Maybe even service the, the um, tape deck. I'm, re I'm really excited. You can probably tell uh, this is fab. So I'm delighted that I got the chance to, um, to share this opening with you on the channel. We'll go into a load more of the switches and um, functions and stuff in another video. But that's all I've got for you today. So thanks very much indeed for watching and please do subscribe, hit the bell for updates and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.